Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule. Sade program pesh kar dehan anek pashava. Kirpa dekho suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Please continue watching to find out more. Vegan, how else to follow the Buddha's compassionate teaching? Tell me here at his me, a potinomorfierata. I just said warm greetings from beautiful Greece in Greek. I'm Ophelia. The kind citizens of Greece praise your benevolent deeds of being vegan to save our planet. With God's merciful grace, May we forever strive in spiritual endeavors that benefit all lives. Warning, sensitive images. Wise viewers, Welcome back to our show, Be Vegan, Be a True Practitioner, Part 2 of 2. Love, a simple yet exceptionally powerful word, is the underlining principle of all religions. Love is not only for oneself, friends or relatives, but also encircles all other beings, including animal people. However, many of our beloved friends are suffering because of a lack of understanding of this basic principle. Today, we would like to present various compassionate vegan messages from religious leaders around the world, where they share wisdom about being vegan, which is a must for any true practitioner. In the previous episode, we have seen the spiritual wisdom about being veg in Christianity, Islam, and Jainism. Today, let us continue exploring some more. Buddhism, for example, has long been known as a religion that emphasizes the importance of being vegan. Let's hear what the Venerable Buddhist Master Sing Chan says about the vegan diet. <laughs> Jinja 我做的跟我爸說的不是喔 我死我冇靈魂啊,我的靈魂嘛是安尼啊,我然後我的隨機去停電,啊是說去接落世界,啊不好的話下地獄,吼,或者是在中陰身還是在這個誒在在這個外面飄啦,飄動啊吼,就是
一叮当的，即个迄个蛇嘛同款啊，嘛是人对转世啊。你跟他讲，你跟他讲，他也会通啊。狗啊嘛是啊，吼、哦，猫也是啊，也是人去转世的。就是说，看你做的行为，你的，你你的你的你的派所在较侪，侪较对，安尼来评估啦。他那个合作伊拢评估较足好诶。我们现在做，马上就给你写记起来，就录起来了，嘿。啊，你往生，他就献给你看了，就是这样子。这都是一个人啊，一个可能咱生生世世的转啊，咱就爱这些这些的转，咱来转几千几万几偌济世啊。所以讲，有可能咱的兄弟姊妹，所以讲，伊去接到咱的亲，跟咱的戚，吼、哦、兄弟姊妹，就是这个原因。伊就是讲，今日接咱的父母，啊，咱慈悲心卖去遐大。Master Sing Chang now points out the underlying principle of being vegan. 咱那外食生是无食这些众生的肉，咱比较较袂心肝啊凶啦。伊啊，就讲啊，外食外迄类啊，伊都无杀生啦。所以吃肉不吃，就是滋养我们这个慈悲心，靠慈悲的心安尼啦。还有慈悲心的人，他就会考虑，有考虑到前前后后，吼、哦，或者是呃因果。就是有这样子的，所以讲，咱买杀生的原因，就是讲滋养咱的慈悲啦，吼、哦，培养我们的慈悲心就对了。It is with great delight that we choose a few clips from the film Animals and the Buddha. The enlightening film was co-produced by Bob Isaacson, who is also president and co-founder of Dharma Voices for Animals (DVA). This film presents deep insights into the relationship between humans and animal people from the Buddhist perspective. It discusses Buddha's teachings about interacting with other beings within this world, as well as sharing wisdom from later developed traditions. In the early tradition of Theravada, the first precept was translated to me as "Panatipada Venamani Sikapadang Samadhiyami." I undertake the rule of training to refrain from causing injury to living things. That's all living things. That's how it was taught to me, and that's how I teach people: all living things. So we refrain from harming them. That's the same in the Tibetan tradition. Do not do anything that hampers the growth and movement and flow of the Buddha mind, the Buddha nature, the Dharma kaya. So obviously, the eating of animals and the interfering with the animal kingdom, exploiting it, does affect that precept. Does block that flow. Does get in the way of the flow of the Buddha mind of the Dharma kaya. So the first precept, not to cause any injury to any living thing, means any living thing. It just takes one second to decide stopping. Now it doesn't make any huge. Chaotic change in our life. It's just we eat something else. It's so simple. It can be done instantly. So less effort for the very big result, ethically, for the animals and the other poor people, for the planet, for our own health. It seems a sensible mind、I、should say this is not an extremist perspective. This is the most reasonable and compassionate point of view. Dear enlightened viewers, let us conclude with the urgent message from our beloved Supreme Master Qinghai to all religious and spiritual leaders: It's time now to awaken and change these physically and spiritually unwholesome, unhealthy, cruel habits and the utmost atrocity involved. Our original diet, as per the Garden of Eden. Is the vegan diet? It promotes both physical and mental and spiritual well-being. We can live happy, healthy lives, thriving purely on plant foods. Actors, actresses. Athletes, sportsmen. Martial art champions, medical doctors, scientists, 
Nobel Prize winners, etc., are glowing proof of a healthy plant-based diet. This also adheres to "Thou shalt not kill" or "Ahimsa," mean no violence. Whereas eating animals, people, goes against this commandment from God, even if we are not the ones doing the killing. We cause others to kill for us. The animal people suffer and die just the same, just for our meal, which we can replace with any other plant-based food. And nowadays, it's even much more so easy. Thus, our being, due to murdering animal people, is drenched with blood of the innocent on our hands. Please teach this again and again. To your trusting followers, who look up to you, to your holinesses and reverence, as icons of compassion and saintly love, so they would listen to you. We cannot let Satan or Maya, the devil, or the negative force, continue to lure us astray. Against God's will and against our innate intelligence and compassionate nature, please remind your faithfuls. I trust in the wisdom of your holinesses and all your reverence to lead this great change. We must change. I trust that your holinesses and your reverence, all your reverences, to lead this great change to promote. The vegan lifestyle, which encompasses love, compassion, and respect for all beings, and obeys God's commandments. We are forever grateful for the wisdom of Supreme Master Ching Hai and all other religious and spiritual leaders for sharing with us the importance of the vegan diet. For us to be true practitioners, may we all follow the wise teachings of the enlightened masters in the past, present, and future. Cherish all lives and live together in peace, love, and harmony. All animals should live happily and safely. Ariana Grande, vegan. Heroic viewers, it has been a pleasure to have you with us today on Vegan and Religion. Coming up next is the right to be born unplanned, right after noteworthy news. May we all quickly awaken our divine nature and practice ahimsa toward all beings on our wonderful earth. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com/schedule and suprememastertv.com/vr.